Hi, friends. I'm Father Felix, pastor of the Church of the Annunciation, and I've got some great, exciting news to bring to you. We're now ready to open up another Mass to our Sunday Mass schedule. And so uh, we're going to have a Mass at 7 a.m. on Sunday. It will be an English Low Mass, and it will hopefully enable more people to be able to attend Mass on Sunday morning, which is a very, very desirable time based on what we're seeing in terms of the request for tickets at the other Masses. So I'm asking that everybody uh, help me with being able to make this a reality by uh, uh, having some volunteers help us with ushering and security, as well as the commitments to help with sanitizing the church after the Mass uh, at 7 a.m. English, ordinary form, uh, and then Following that, we'll have the 9 o'clock English Ordinary Form Mass. It'll be a little more solemn. And then uh, the Sunday 11 a.m. Mass, which is a Tridentine Mass. And so we're very excited about this. In, hopefully in the very near future, we'll be able to get uh, also the support of volunteers to help us with having a 5.30 p.m. Sunday evening Mass on our schedule, which we're looking forward to doing too. So. What I need from you is that uh, you go online or call into the church office and reserve your tickets as early as possible, Friday or Saturday, preferably before noon on Saturday if possible, uh, to get your tickets so that we don't have to turn anybody away. We don't want to have uh, just people arriving from wherever and uh, not be sure, reasonably sure that we can have a place for them. We don't want people to go to all that trouble and, and be turned away. But um, uh, because we do have to work with the restrictions of the 25% seating capacity right now uh, in our church until uh, uh, the, those who are in authority over us are, are able to open that up to fuller capacity, then we will open up to fuller capacity. But for now, we're limited to 25%. We also ask everybody, please uh, cooperate with uh, uh, the uh, uh, requirement that we wear masks in church and also that we keep the social distancing, which uh, for the most part, everybody's been very cooperative and helpful with that. But just be aware that those are things that are criteria that we have to meet and that uh, uh, in order, we want to do that so that we can come together in our Father's house and have Mass together and that we can hear the Word of God and receive the sacraments. Um, I've also made moves to have us priests more available to help hear confessions for longer periods of time and accommodate more people who are in, uh, desirous of receiving the Sacrament of Reconciliation. And so uh, while we're facing challenges, uh, we're doing it with, with great heart and with courage and with perseverance. And that's so encouraging. It shows what kind of metal we're made of and what kind of faith our people have. And it's so wonderful and edifying to be able to, to uh, do these things. So I'm excited, and I hope you are too, that we will have a Mass at 7 a.m. starting this coming Sunday, the 16th of August. It'll be an English low Mass in the ordinary form or the mass after Vatican II. And then the next mass will, it, it will be nine o'clock, ordinary form English, a mass after Vatican II. Um, and it'll be uh, a, a little more solemn mass. And then the uh, 11 a.m. mass is a Tridentine mass or the extraordinary form mass that's uh, of course always in Latin. And uh, then hopefully again in the near future, hopefully we uh, can have the volunteers and the commitment of support to be able to open up uh, 5.30 uh, Sunday uh, evening Mass. So let us pray for each other. Uh, hopefully we can all spring into action and bring all the pieces into place and uh, come to as close of a normal kind of uh, uh, exercise of our faith as possible. So I look forward to welcoming you back to Annunciation and uh, to celebrating together in the house of the Lord. The Lord be with you. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and your families and remain with you forever. Amen.